Alrighty guys, let's get started with today's class. We're going to be working towards front splits today. And uh, we'll be doing some forward folds. So you're gonna to wanna to have a yoga block or two. And we're also gonna be going into some pigeon work. So having a roller or yoga blocks can be uh, beneficial. We're gonna start on the wall. I'm just gonna start with some leg lifts on the wall. So inside leg, lifting up. Waking up hip flexors. Good, switching legs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, One, other leg to the side for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and other leg to the side for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Other leg kicking back. So just lifting through the back hip. And 10, nine, micro extensions in the hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one and hold this position, squeeze the glute. Try and lift into that hip extension, hold. And switching legs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hold, lift, extend through the hips, squeeze the bum. Good, standing up nice and tall, bend the knee. And same thing, lifting the knee to the chest for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, out to the side, slightly bend the knee, 90 degrees, and lifting up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, keep the knee in line with the heel, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold that, lift, Hold and kickbacks, kicking the heels for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching legs, 90 degrees in the knee. Actually, sorry, lifting knee up for 10. Nine, eight, waking up hip flexors and glutes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out to the side, horizontal shin. And lifting for 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Kickbacks, pump the heel for 10. Nine, really control it. Eight, lift that knee out. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Good work. Feet together, lifting into calf raise. 20 reps. Three. Good work, keep going, 20 reps. Nicely done, guys. When you're done that, you're gonna go toes out, heels together, and lifting for one. Two, clench the glutes. Three, feel the inner thighs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Inside, toes, heels out. And lifting for one. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nicely done, guys. We're going to bring our feet together. Just drop into forward fold. And you can sway the hips side to side, knees locked out. And just moving the hips side to side. Making circles into the hips now. So bending the knee to come out and then straighten it to come back in and switch to the other side. Thinking about making figure eights in the hips. Making some big figure eights in the hips. Circling. Just relax your head. And then switching directions. Straighten the leg to come out. Bend it to come back in. Making figure eights in the hips. Good, come into squat. Feet together, big toe, heels together. And just rocking back and forth through the toes and into the heels. Keep your knees on your chest as best you can, heels flat, and then dropping or lifting into forward fold. Keep your knees onto your chest as best you can, or as long as you can until they come off, and then back. Five times. Knees to chest, try and stay compressed. Good work, guys. We're gonna come into toe point. So tuck the bums under, posture pelvic tilt in the hips. And we're just gonna start with a little passive stretch, maintaining the 
the bum tucked under though. So the glutes are on, quads and hips are stretching. You're gonna resist the stretch, press your knees into the ground, shins into the ground, lift yourself up into the air. And then relax. Lift yourself up in the air, resisting, press the knees, shins into the ground for five, four, three, squeeze your bum a little harder, two, one, and relax. Dropping a little bit lower. And again, lift your hips, squeeze your bum for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Go as low as you like. Come on out of that. Hands at the knees. And we're just gonna lift into toe point and hold for five. Four, three, two, one, and drop. And lifting again into toe point. Heels together for five. Four, three, two, one. One more time. Glue those heels together and lift for five. Four, three, two, one, good, let's go into a little twist overhead into the core. Twisting overhead. Oh, nice good core stretch there. Great stuff guys, let's go back into single leg pike. You're gonna to wanna to grab one yoga block. We'll do some active passive here. So place your foot nice and high onto the block where the heel stays down. Back leg is gonna bend to put the weight into the front leg. Hinging at the hips. And just find yourself into a passive position, trying to maintain lower back flat as best you can. I want you to squeeze the quad Lift yourself off the ground, squeezing through that front leg really hard for five, four, three, two, one. Relax the quad, drop back down. Bending through the back leg. Breathing. And resist, pressing up, squeeze the quad for five, four, trying to keep it tight, three, two, one, and relax. Breathing. And lifting up again, nice and strong. Squeeze the quad, press the toes down for five, 
four, three, two, one. Big breath in and relax. One more big breath in and relax. Good stuff guys, come on out of that. Switching legs. So stagger the feet. Back leg bent and dropping down. Just find yourself into a nice, comfortable position. Whatever feels good for you. I'm not overdoing this, by the way. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just letting my body go where it wants to go. All right, lifting, squeezing, pressing through the quad. Squeeze that knee nice and straight. Dig the toes in for five, four, three. Trying to pull yourself down. One, zero, and relax the leg and drop. Bend the back leg, put the focus into the front leg. And active, lift it up, hold, squeeze the quad, pull yourself down for five, four, create some tension, push yourself away, three, two, one, and relax into the stretch. Big breath in. And one more time. Drive the foot, heel, toe, squeeze the quad, resist. Pull yourself down at the same time, nice and strong for five, four, three, Two, one, big breath in, relax the leg, and relax into the stretch. Good, come on out of that. Just come into a little squat. Push those knees out. So you can rock back and forth. So next one we're gonna go into is a double leg forward fold feet together. So back up, feet together. And we'll do the same idea here, guys. Sit the bum way back, noticing where your lower back starts to round. I want you to be challenging that, so I can go right to about here, and any further I start to round. Some of us are a little further, that's fine. Just be aware of that. We're gonna light it up and turn on some tension, and then relax here as well. So you can also use your blocks to help maintain lower back flat. Use blocks for assistance. Start to squeeze the quads. 
Push your toes into the ground. Trying to pull yourself down and your legs are saying no. Turn on the tension in the quads for five, four, three, two, you can hold if you like, one, big breath in, and relax. Trying to stay lengthened through the spine as best you can. And lifting again, hands assisted, squeezing, resisting, squeeze the quads hard for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Breathing. With one more activation, relaxing. And lifting, lengthen through the spine. Pull the belly button down, proud chest. Resisting the stretch, press down for five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in and relax. Drop yourself down, drop the head. Great work, guys. Feeling good so far? Lots of people in here now. Let's go into a single leg quad stretch. Onto the belly, or onto the bum. <coughs> Pull that leg around back. I want you to press your foot into the ground, push your hip forwards, squeeze the bum. So pressing foot into the ground, light it up, resist the stretch, squeeze the glute hard for five, four, three, two, one, and relax into that stretch. One more time, pressing, push the hip forward, squeeze, light it up, harder for five, four, three, two, one, and relax into that stretch. Ease out of that, switching sides. Legs nice and wide. So 
So just start to find your end range on this leg. Push your hip forwards, squeeze the bum, press the foot into the ground, resisting in that stretch for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the glutes squeezed, relax the foot. Two more reps, pressing into the ground with the foot. Squeeze the bum hard for five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good work, and one more time, press it into the ground. Light up the glute, press the foot forward, or into the ground, pushing hip forwards for five. Harder, four, squeeze the glute a little harder, three, two, one. Relax, and drop as low as you like. Great stuff guys, switching legs. Switch positions, same idea. So we're going to be hinging forwards. So this is a hinge, neutral lower back position. You might wanna elevate your bum a little bit on the back leg to pull yourself forwards to really get into that proper position, otherwise you're able to sit up nice and tall and hinge at the hips with neutral lower back, awesome. So just reaching towards that front foot. Nice big proud chest. We're gonna squeeze the quads and hover if you like or hands assist it and hold for five, four, trying to pull yourself down at the same time, three, two, one, relax. Start to reach those hands further. And resisting nice and strong for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time here, breathing in. And nice big proud chest, lengthen through that lower back and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in and relax a little deeper into that stretch.
great stuff. Come on out, switch sides. So really spread the legs as wide as you can. And then hinging at the hips, so sticking the bum back behind you like a deadlift. And then reaching to the side, noticing we're starting over, not as warmed up here. So just find passive position. And start to resist. Squeezing the quad, pressing the knee down. Pushing yourself away through the foot, creating tension in the body. For five, four, three, two, hard, one, and relax. Noticing differences from side to side. Does this side feel more mobile? Maybe tighter? Is there pain here? What's going on in the lower back? Bring some awareness here, guys. Light it up, press the heel down, press the knee down, squeeze the quad, hands assisting, proud chest. Pull, 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 and hold tension for five, four, Three, two, one, big breath in, and relax. through the lower back, pressing, pull yourself down into that stretch and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last relaxation, count for 10, slow the breath down, long breath in, and longer breath out. Relax into that stretch. Great stuff, ease yourself out of that. So we're gonna go into hips, pigeons next. So I'm gonna do this one today with the roller underneath my bum. So what you wanna do is position a roller or two yoga blocks or a nice heavy pillow underneath the side of the leg. Now the bum is on the roller as well as the knee. So the entire side. I'm gonna take my other yoga block to help prop myself up. So get yourself into position. And we're gonna start off with passive. Passive position, hang out. Lift the chest up nice and tall. We'll go easy today on this guy. You're gonna press the foot and the knee down. I want you to pull yourself down towards your shin, neutral lower back. Okay, pulling yourself down and your body says no. You're pressing the foot and the knee down. It's 
start to try and squeeze the bum for five, four, three, two, one. Relax through the hip. So trying to lengthen through that spine. Straighten your back leg as best you can. Big breath in and relax. And again, light it up. Press the foot and the knee into the ground. Resisting, chest up for five, four, three, two, one. And then relax the glute. Breathe into that stretch. We'll do that for two more times and then we'll see if we can get lower towards the ground. So if you are very mobile here, chances are you need to work on the strength component. And for those of us that are very tight, we need to spend time Breathing, relaxing those muscles into position. Ready, nice and strong, hold. Push yourself away, trying to lift off the, off the roller. Press the knee down, press the foot down, chest up nice and tall for five, four, three, two, one, and sink. Again, nice and strong, pressing up for five, four, three, pressing away hard, two, lift, 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 one, and relax. So I still have a 90 degree position in my front leg, trying to maintain that and not resorting to just closing the gap and making it easy, but obviously listen to the knees. I'm gonna come a little bit lower. I'm gonna place the block underneath my, my bum. So now I'm placing another block underneath the bum. just allowing me to stay setting up. Try and keep the hips square. Try not to let them twist. Keep the back leg square as well. Get yourself into that position. And same thing, light it up. Press the foot into the ground for five, four, three, Two, one, and relax. I'm gonna close the gap a little bit on the front leg so I can get that knee down. I'm gonna take the block out behind me. I'm gonna still assist myself because I'm not able to get the hip fully down yet. So keeping, keeping myself nice and square in the hips. My back hip is off the ground. My knee is on the ground. I close the gap a little bit to allow me to get down here. First position, you can relax the hip. Just take a second. Try not to resort to just falling forwards and folding. Try and lift through the body, creating more strength in the hip. Press the knee and the foot down, lift up, 
Fingers assisting, hold for five. Four or no hands, nice and strong. Three, two, one, and ease into it. I'm gonna close the gap a little bit more onto the front leg. Listen to the knees, guys. Good work, chest up, nice and strong. One more rep here. Hold, fingers assisting, lift for five, four, three, two, one, and sink a little bit deeper. And now you can give yourself a little forward fold. Good work, ease out of that. Nice and slow. Check in, give me a little squat. Whew. Give yourself a little walk around. <laughs> and then we'll get into the next leg. So I'm gonna position the roller to come onto the side where my hip and my shin is supported. And I'm going to also maintain 90 degrees in the front knee. So have 90 degrees in the front knee. For as long as you can, ideally. Don't resort to just closing the gap. Trying to work more external rotation in the hip. Back leg nice and straight. Trying to keep those, start with those hips in line. Some of us might have to be much higher up here. We're not able to come all the way down here, that's fine. Find a position that works for you, hover yourself off the ground. Some of you may want to even grab the yoga block and put it underneath on top of the roller as well. So just get yourself into a little bit of a passive stretch. I'm also using two yoga blocks to kind of assist me to come nice and upright. So we have four reps to do here. We'll start off with number one. Drive your foot, drive your knee, chest up. And just create some tension in the body. Resisting. And hold for five. Four, resisting as if you're trying to lift yourself off your support. Three, two, one, and sink. Just relax the hip. Three more reps. Nice and strong, press the foot and the knee into the ground, resisting and lifting. Create some tension in the body for five, four, three, two, 
one and sync. So two more before we go down a little bit lower. Some of us may need to just stay here, by the way, and spend more time here. Don't rush to get yourself down. Resisting, drive the foot and the knee. Lift, try and lift yourself off the roller for five, four, three, two, one, and sink. Sink into that stretch. Big breath in, relax. Last one here, we're gonna light it up. Press for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So I'm gonna take a block and support underneath the back hip, or the, sorry, the front hip and the front leg. Now the knee is hovering on its own. You can use your block for support to try and keep yourself nice and square. You might want to do some reps where you're easing into it, rocking back and forth through the front leg. All right. Nice and strong. Resisting, press the foot into the ground for five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Breathing. It hurts so good. It's like my body is like, what are you doing? But it's very enjoyable as well at the same time. Two more reps here, guys. Nice and strong, pressing, lift. Nice and strong, pressing through the front leg, trying to lift yourself off the ground. Hands assisting for five, four, three, two, one. Closing the front leg a little bit, if you like. Still support it on the hip. Try and really get those hips nice and square. Chest up. Relaxing into that position. I'm gonna close the gap a little bit onto the front leg a little more. Take the block out. Now I have two blocks for assistance. Ready? So my knee is on the ground, my foot is on the ground, and my hip is off. I'm trying to get the hip to the ground without resorting to just closing the gap right away in the knee. Nice and strong. Lift for five. Four, press, press, press hard. Three, lift yourself off the ground. Two, one. And relax. Keep those hips nice and square.
And you can drop into that a little bit further if you'd like. Take a second to breathe here. Rocking the hips side to side. So the last one we're gonna do is a back leg supported front split. I'm going to be supporting the back leg with the roller. So whatever leg you had in front, now bring it around back, switch legs. I'm going to use two yoga blocks. And we'll go for two minutes on each leg. So I'm just placing the roller on top of the quad. blocks assisting. You can start off in lunge. Chest up nice and tall. start to slide that leg out. So if you feel like the roller is gonna move, try it with the block. And if you're not able to actually get the front leg out, just remove the roller for now. So this is allowing me to put more focus on the front leg today with the back leg supported. I'm gonna rest my elbow on my roller. We're gonna go chest up, nice and tall. Really stretching through that front hip. Hamstring. Ease yourself into it a little further. So should really be feeling mostly hamstrings here. seconds, squeeze the front quad, good work, ease yourself out of that. Switch legs, come into back leg supported lunge. Really bring whatever you're using above, just above the kneecap. Get into that nice big long lunge position. Try and get the chest up.
and locking it out. Another minute here. Squeeze the quad, create some tension. Chest up nice and tall. Sink a little bit deeper. Relax, another couple seconds. And that's it. Ease out of that guys, go for a little, go for a little walk around, do a little squat. Check in. And that's it for today. Have yourselves an awesome rest of the week. See you guys in class. Upper body strength tonight. Let's get kazammed. <laughs>